today I'm reviewing the Biore Althazim Skin Protect Essence. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, join my Patreon community, or click on the link below. And if you're a Patreon today, you will get a Patreon exclusive video review of the Uriage Bear Sun sunscreen. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so this is like my second bottle because I brought this to the boat one day last summer and one of my friends kind of kept it. Thankfully, they told me they kept it because they liked it. Okay, so they say they also have a milk version of this, which I ordered and I'll review once I get it. So offering SPF 50 protection, this mini sunscreen is waterproof, sweat resistant, Long lasting, making it perfect for on the go lifestyles. Hopefully, that's what my friend has, and hopefully, she finished it before it expired. Moisturizing formula leaves skin feeling hydrated and, and nourished. Cow technology allows this sunscreen to create an invisible film, which means this can withstand some rubbing like towels and still stay on. Uh, this is their durable outer skin protection, also called Tough Boost Technology. And Lincoln is over there giving Cameron hugs and kisses, and I don't know why he. The only time he tried to kiss me today is when I put on a sunscreen that had a little bit of scent in it. So, Okay, my first criteria is packaging. Maybe he'll come over when I get to the swatch part of it. We'll see. Uh, no issues at all with the packaging. Very efficient. Apparently swappable, stealable. <laughs> uh, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, denatured alcohol is the second ingredient of this, uh, like a lot of their sunscreens. So if you use this... Especially if you have dry skin, make sure to use a good moisturizer underneath and a good moisturizer at night. And then in terms of fragrance, fragrance is the last ingredient. It's not very strong. It has kind of a lemony scent and it dissipates pretty quickly. So a light scent still lingers. I'm very sensitive to fragrance and I didn't have any issues with this one. A lot of florally scents give me headaches and this one I didn't have any issues with. So... Uh, the manufacturing location for this one is Japan, so no issues with that. So SPF, this one has SPF 50 plus, which indicates exceptional protection, and I'm pretty confident based on the filters used in this one that it does provide good protection there. Uh, in terms of the UVA protection, this one has PA with four pluses after it, which indicates also exceptional UVA protection. Again, based on the filters they used, I'm pretty confident this provides good UVA protection. Uh, probably not on par with some of the really high PPD persistent pigment darkening sunscreens out there, but pretty good for a day out. If I were going to the beach or going out on the boat or something this summer, not sure this would be my first pick because now we know a lot more about UVA rays and how damaging they are. And I found some other sunscreens that I really like that have a really high rating here. So... If I'm going out for a walk, I would use this one. But if I'm going out on the beach or going to be sweating or swimming, this would be high up on the list, but probably not my top first choice. Okay, then let's get to the filters. So we've got two UVB filters. We've got Oxinate, Octanoxate. Oh, little muffin. Lincoln's looking at me now. Lincoln! He's not going to come over but he's a baby. Uh, okay, so we've got this, which is a clear oil soluble, nice liquid filter. It's a UVB absorb absorbing filter um, and not super stable on its own. Then we've got Juvenal T150, also a UVB ray absorber, very photo stable, absorbs all the UVB, UVB filters. Um, then for UVA rays, we've got Juvenal A+, which is a UVA ray absorber. Uh, it's very good for UVA protection, very photostable, and can be used in amounts up to 10%. And then we've got a UVA UVB ray combo, which is Tinsorb S, which is a very photostable filter that absorbs the entire spectrum of UVB and UVA rays. It's also very useful in stabilizing other filters. So, in terms of the white cast, so let's apply a good fair amount here. This one applies pretty darn clear. You can't really tell that you have it on. No white cast at all, very transparent. So no issues at all with that. The texture of it is kind of a lotion-y feel, which is nice. 
uh, works well under foundation, sets to a natural finish that is just slightly tacky, but not terribly so. Um, that makes it very easy to use, smooths over skin easily, sets quickly, and reapplication of this one is nice because it has a really light texture, so if you reapply it over another layer of it, no issues, no issues with pilling, anything like that. So this one's really nice. Very feels very elegant, which is probably from the alcohol in there, but very nice. So this one's a good one in terms of if you, somebody that's looking for a nice sunscreen that doesn't feel like a sunscreen, this one's a good one and water resistant and things like that. So Lincoln, here we go. That This is the Lincoln fragrance detector. Hmm. He wasn't too impressed. He didn't think the fragrance was very strong. I should just use that as my judgment now for fragrance, right? If Lincoln sniffs it for more than five seconds, you know it's a lot of scent. <laughs> if he sniffs it for less than zero seconds, you know it has no scent. Okay, then we get to antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. Not super exciting. We've got arginine, which is a good skin identical amino acid, natural moisturizing factor. BHT, which is a preservative antioxidant combo, which I typically more consider it a preservative than an antioxidant, really. We've got royal jelly, which is a hydrating ingredient, sodium hyaluronate, which is a humectant, and that's it. So not a very impressive beneficial ingredient list. So if you're going to use this, make sure to use a good vitamin C serum, something really good underneath it. Lincoln would like access to another room. Lincoln! No. Okay. In terms of acneogenic ingredients, we've got... Isopropyl palmitate, which is pretty highly rated comedogenic, also fungal acne trigger. Hydrogenated polyisobutene, butylene glycol, and acetyl alcohol. So we've got a few up there, so keep that one in mind if you're very prone to breakouts. Okay, in terms of, let's see, animal testing, Biore is not cruelty-free. I really wish we could find a good cruelty-free brand that has some really great sunscreens. If Biore were cruelty free, it would be amazing because they make so many great sunscreens, but so many people can't use them because of this. So it's, it's a bummer, big bummer. We'll see what happens this year. Maybe more will happen there. Okay. In terms of performance, I'm happy with this, this one, it does a great job preventing burning and pigmentation. I prefer to use this on days when I know I'm going to be outside a little bit sweating not when I'm totally immersed in the sun, but uh, it does work pretty good. And for an average day, I don't typically go to this one for like a typical average day just because of the fragrance and alcohol. But on outdoors, it does a great job staying on through friction and water. Then in terms of the price, so this is one of their mini sizes, which is 20 milliliters and it's almost empty. Um, and it's about nine bucks, making it nice, super affordable, especially to try. It's a nice option for face. If you use this for the body, it starts to get a little bit more expensive from there. But overall, still a nice option with a lot of good things going for it. A couple small changes could have made this one even better, but it's still a decent option for many people. So anyway, with a 15 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 10. Still a pretty nice option for a lot of people. So anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check it out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are, and I'll definitely review the milk when I get it. So anyway, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much.